Why hello, you're watching me have a look at the Star Trek official Starship collection made by Eagle Moss. Today we're looking at number 67, bloody hell, 67 of these, plus all the little bonus ships. Where's the time going? Anyway, the Klingon D7 class battle cruiser, or the one they shared with the Romulans, they had warp engines. Nice to see them sharing, isn't it? So, what we got on here? Got some details here. Disruptor cannons, phase emitters, and so they have disruptor cannons and phase emitters. That's naughty of them. That's very cheeky. Oh, they've got a magnetic pulse. Um, not much to say there. Fiercer reputation during the Cold War, the Federation. If you've not been watching Discovery, there was actually a war. I keep mentioning Discovery, don't I? It's naughty of me. Um, yeah. The Enterprise is normally a match for 1D7, but when there are seven several they're outnumbered what we've got here uh disruptors glowy bits around k7 i've got k7 actually i have the model of k7 we'll be seeing it sometime soon in about 30 episodes time um some more pretty pictures so not much to say it doesn't actually i can't see anything mentioning where they shared the technology with the rom they did we all know they did Let's uh, flip through. Turn the page. Flip the page. The history of the Klingon language. There is encyclopedias, isn't there, and dictionaries for the Klingon language. I think in some places you can actually learn Klingon as a language, which is quite interesting. All I know is Kapla. Maybe a few insults now and again. Uh, oh, look. Bless them. Uh, sorry. You know, Wolf, he was actually in one of the films, wasn't he? Um, it's not Final Frontier. Undiscovered Country, wasn't it? That was one with the cloaked bird of prey that she can fire. Christopher Lloyd. I knew his name. Uh, what else have we got? So, first scene, Aaron of Mercy. I can't even pronounce half these names. Who makes up these silly names? Original series Klingon ships weren't mentioned, and D7 didn't appear until the third season. Um, blah 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 blah. I was saying blah blah blah, don't we? What's our next one? The Federation attack fighter. Mm, that doesn't ring a bell. Federation attack fighter. Might see them through the Dominion Wars, probably. Right. Let's have a look at the D7. I like the D7. It's just such a classic design. You still see him in. Next Generation, you saw him in DS9, you even see him in Voyager, I think there was one in Voyager, wasn't there? I'm sure there was. So, she feels really cold, I think she's metal. Yeah, that feels all metal. The underside's plastic, you can see the joint, that joint is huge. I can fit an elephant in it. You can see here, you might be able to get it in the light, see if I can get the light to glitter there. You can see the glue's all over spread here. Same over here, so glue's all overdone. Somebody used too much glue. Feels reasonably solid. The neck feels really weak. Yeah, the neck feels really fragile. Almost, almost like you can break it by sneezing. You can also make out along here. It's really roughed edge. Let's see if I can get a close up of it. There you go. You can see it. It's really roughed edged. That side's not too bad, but it's really, really rough. Um, you've got the Klingon insignia. Kind of a weird position. It's kind of sideways pointing that way instead of pointing that way uh, you've got the bridge there's like a lack of detail here. I think they should have at least painted a little torpedo there maybe put some windows in but I best guess they didn't do it because it's not what you saw on the original series is it um, there's no details at all in their cells there's nothing there there's nothing on the inside either there's just like not much here at all, which is a shame. It's a bit dull and boring, but it's to be expected. But look, look at this glue. You can see the glue really badly. I guess if you've got the model on its stand, which I never use, you wouldn't notice it as much. So there we go. That is your D7 Battle Cruiser, and I thank you all for watching, and I will catch you on my next video. Bye, bye.